Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Previous video was just a basic introduction about the activities, tasks, stacks and backstack. In this particular video, we will get started with the very first launch mode, a standard mode. So when you go back to the manifest file of an Android application and assuming that you have four activities, activity A, B, C, D, you will typically declare the launch modes as standard. In that case, when activity A launches B, we will be be put on top of E and in the same way if activity B launches C it will be put on top of D and if C launches D it will be put on top of C and the whole stack of activities is nothing but a task or stack even if you had not written the launch mode as standard it would have not made any difference to the behavior because even if you don't write the launch modes as a standard it will be taken as standard if i launch another activity of a after d then another activity of a would get created and it would be put on top of d we will better understand this through a demo i have created an application with four activities activity a b c and d all these activities basically extend uh, another activity called as base activity. If you just do control H here, it will show the hierarchy of the activities. You can observe that all the four activities basically extend the base activity. Why I have done this is the base activity basically contains a functionality which I will be using across all the subclasses. That functionality is basically about displaying the number of tasks and the activities that are there in that particular task. If you go to the layout of the any of the activity, you have four buttons which will be launching those activities and you have a, another scroll view here with text view and this is where I will be displaying the information about the tasks and the activities that are there in that particular task. At the runtime this is how it will look. Let me show you in the debug mode the text that I am generating. So let me run it in the debug mode. At light number 46 I have put a breakpoint. As I proceed further uh, activity manager get running tasks dot size will basically give me the total number of tasks and I will just append that to a string builder and then I have got another method called as get running tasks which basically returns me a list of running task info running task info is nothing but an individual stack or a task and then I basically iterate over tasks and try to fetch some information and finally when the loop completes this is what the content would be so let me copy the value show you the value that we have generated here total number of tasks are two each task or the stack will be having some id so I will be displaying the ID associated with that. Then number of activities in that particular task. I will also display the base activity which basically means the activity that is at the root of the task and then the topmost activity. Then you might be wondering what is this? This is nothing but a launcher application which is the starting task of the Android. You need not have to worry about this because this doesn't actually get displayed. So now having understood how this text is getting generated let us play with this setup and try to understand what is happening with the stack in the standard mode if you go to the manifest file here you can observe that all the activities have the launch modes set to the standard so now in this state the base activity is a and the top activity is also A and now when I click on B number of activities in the task ID 112 is 2 that is in the same task two activities are there the base activity is A and the top activity is B and if I now click on C the number of activities are 3 there is no change in the number of tasks and you can observe that now the top activity is C and base activity is A and in between A and C is the D and if I click on D, D will be the topmost activity. The number of activities in that particular task ID 112 will be 4. And now if I click another time on A, what will happen is uh, another new instance of A will get created and it will be put on top of D. Don't think that top activity and base activity both are A 
that means there is only one activity now you can observe that the number of activities are five and this is the behavior of a standard mode what it basically means is if you start a new activity in the standard mode if an instance of that activity already exists it just doesn't care it just keeps on creating the new instance of the activity and puts it on top of the stack and it will always put it on the same stack from where it was launched that is if b was launched in stack id 112 and b launches c c will be also put on the same stack that is 112 and you can see that the total number of activities just keep on adding and the only way you can get rid of all the activities and go back to the root activities by clicking the back button and as you can see I hit the back button the number of activities in the tasks are decreasing and now if I hit back the application will close so this is the behavior of the standard mode this changes if i make the launch mode as single top which we will observe in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye